Welcome to Argicum. In this video, we will be showing you three things that may help you choose the best lenses for the Raspberry Pi high quality camera and use them correctly. Let's get started. Unlike the V2 cameras, the high quality camera does not include the lens, so a third party one is required and you must pick one. They've recommended two, the wide angle in the telephoto, respectively a 6mm CS mount lens and a 16mm C mount lens, but there is definitely more to choose from. So Argicom will show you how to choose and use the lenses. How does the focal length affect your image? The engineers from Argicom has taken some pictures with our own lenses of different focal lengths to illustrate how it affects the image. You can see how it zooms in as the focal length increases. To help our customers quickly sort out the best suitable lenses, we've also made a calculator regarding the focal length. Assume you are shooting a landscape A4 paper from 1 meter, or about 3 feet away with this camera, you will be getting a focal length of around 21 millimeters, so a 20 millimeters lens would be a good candidate for this application. If you want a single lens to cover different focal lengths, check out the zoom lens. The zoom lens comes with an adjustable focal length. And that means you can zoom in or out on the area you are concerned with. How to keep your image in focus. There is an adjustment handle on the lens for focusing, normally marked as near and far, which means to focus on close-up or further objects. Sometimes you might still not be able to focus the target very well because the back focal length doesn't match. So, in this case, you can adjust the back focus adjustment ring to fix this problem. After that, you can use the focus adjustment handle on the lens focus again. For a similar reason, an adapter is required for C-mount lenses because they tend to have a longer back focal length than the CS mount. How does the aperture affect your image? The aperture on the lens is like the pupil of human eyes to limit the light admitted, except that the pupil works automatically. On the 6mm CS mount lens, the aperture ring is in the middle with an open and close mark on it. For the 16mm C-mount lens, it's the inner ring that's closest to the camera. The larger aperture helps to capture more light in poorly illuminated environments, but also brings the side effects of a shallower depth of field. So that's the three things we want you to know, and also the end of this video. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. See you in the next video.